Hi everyone, I will be discussing Math 5 with 6, which is all about visualizes multiplication of fractions using models and multiply fractions, fraction and a whole number and another fraction. So I will be discussing mathematics for grade 5. Okay, so we have here an example in your module. The example letter A. It takes three fifths hours to read a book. How many hours will it be to read three books? So sa isang book, three fifths hours ang nakoconsume. So that is the representation or how to visualize three fifths. That is three fifths hours to read a book. And then paano kung tatlong books na yung A yung babasahin? So we have this is for the second book and this is for the third book. So this three illustration is the time that you consume to read three books. Now, para makuha natin yung sagot, pagsasama-samahin natin. Look at the shaded portion. These are the sh these shaded portion are the time that you consume in reading books. So pagsama-samahin natin, ilan lahat ang shaded niya? We have, how many shaded portion do we have here? We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 shaded portion. Now, let's continue with this answer. So, we have here 5 shaded portion. So, kulang pa tayo ng apat. So, these 5 represents one whole. At ito pa yung apat na natin tira shaded portion. So, this one is representing one hour dahil nabuo niya yung five parts. And this one represents yung excess sa isang oras which is four fifths hours. So, therefore, it will take one and four fifths hours to read three books. So, that's how simple we visualize multiplication. So, this is multiplying whole number by a fraction using visualization. So, now, let's have other example. Or, let's have the example B, which is multiply two-thirds by one-half. So, here is the answer. Actually, may sagot na dito. Two-thirds times one-half equals two-sixths or one-third. Now, this is on how to visualize this. So, we have here, we have here the representation of two-thirds. So, two shaded portion and three parts. And here, so, balik natin, imumultiply natin sa one, sa one-half. So, ang denominator ng one-half ay two. So, para madali, kung magmultiply ka ng one-half, Kung ano yung denominator, yun yung bilang ng portion na hahatiin mo, na ipangahati mo dito sa una nating figure. So, hatiin natin sa dalawa. Lagyan natin ang dalawang rows. So, parang magiging ganito siya, dalawang rows. Ayan, ang pangit ng aking drawing. So, dalawang rows. So, kukunin mo yung kalhate o yung unang. Dahil one ang ating numerator, kukunin mo yung unang rows. Isishade mo yung unang rows. Or parang ganito siya. Here. Clear ko yung aking ano. Hinati ko yung unang part sa dalawang rows. Naging dalawa yung rows niya. And then yung kanyang one half. Dahil one half yung ating ipang divide Dalawang rows. Kaya represent natin yung one half. Here is the one half of the second fraction. Samantalang ito, yung una kanina... This is the two-thirds. So, ito yung one-half. So, ito yung buong one-half. Ayan. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, may nag-overlap 
na portion. Ilan yung nag-overlap na portion? Di ba may may color din ito sa ilalim? Ilan yung nag-overlap na portion? Yep. One, two, yung nag-overlap na portion. That is, two, yung nag-overlap, ilan lahat yung portion, naging portion ng ating, ng ating bagong figure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we have two, oh, I'm sorry. We have... 2, 6, or lowest term, 1 third. So, therefore, if we are to multiply this, we have 2 thirds times 1 half. The answer is 2 six. Let's go with another example. It is easy to multiply fractions by the whole numbers and fraction by a whole number and another fraction. Start by turning up your mixed fraction or a whole number into improper fraction. Then multiply the numerator of both improper fractions. Multiply the denominator and simplify your answer. Example we have here. We have 2 times 5 and 1 half times 1 third. So, una natin gagawin, gawin mo munang improper fraction yung 2, which is 2 over 1 times Ito, gagawin mo muna ding improper fraction, which is 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1, we have 11 over 2 times 1 third. So, madali lang siya kahit 3 terms pa siya. We have 2 times 11 is 22, times 1 is also 22. And then, we have 2 times 1, or 1 times 2 is 2, times 3 is 6. So, we have 22, 6, or what is the lowest term of this? We have 11 thirds, or 3 and 2 thirds. We have 11 divided by 3 is 3, remainder. So, we have 3 and 2 thirds here. Now, this is on how to multiply it. Now, let's have another example here. In learning test number 2, you are you are asked to visualize the following multiplication of fraction. So, parang mas mahirap mag-visualize, mas madali mag-solve. Pero, madali lang din mag-visualize. Let's go with number 1. We have 3 times 1 half. Tatlong 1 half. So, ganun lang kadali. So, kailangan mo ng 1 half. Ilang 1 half? Tatlo. This represent 1 half. E, kailangan mo ng tatlo. So, another one half and another one half. So, pag samasamahin nyo ngayon yung may shade na portion, ilan yung may shade? Tatlo. So, we have equal to, pag samahin mo ngayon yung, okay, we have here two shaded na, kulang pa ng isa. This represent one wood. And then, the other one is here, we have one half. Therefore, three times one half is equal to one and one half. So, that's how simple it is when it is to visualize multiplication. So that is for learning task number one. How about here? We have learning task number three. Visualize the following multiplication of fraction using models and solve. Mag-start tayo sa number one. Tingnan natin kung kaya natin solve in number one. So, we have here seven nines. Oh. Okay, in number one, we have seven nines times five eights. So we have here the seven nines. Ina natin kung seven nines nga siya. So we have how many portion? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine shaded. Uh, I'm sorry, seven shaded and nine equal parts. So this represents seven nines. I mo multiply mo ngayon siya sa 5 eighths. And the denominator is 8. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mong hatiin, lagyan mo ng rows na 8. We need to create 8 rows dito sa una nating figure. So, how was it? 8 rows. Pag nakagawa ka na ng 8 rows, isi-shade mo ngayon yung limang rows. Let's see kung paano yun. Let's have 8 
rows. Tingnan natin kung nasan yung 8 rows na yun. Bilangin ko kung nasan yung 8 rows. So, we have the 8 rows here. We have... So, 8 rows. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ito yun. So, kanina, 9 lang siya. 9 columns. So, kanina, 7 nines. 9 yung columns. Dahil multiply natin siya sa 5 eighths, naghinati mo yung rows sa 8. We have 8 rows. We have 8 rows. 9 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, that is our denominator. And then, Imo multiply mo nga siya sa 5 eighths dun sa 8 rows, isa shade mo yung lima. This is 1 2 3 4 5. Na shade mo na to. Yan. From here, here. Si shade mo yung mga yan. And then tingnan natin yung nagdoble ng color. Alin-alin yung nagdoble ng color? So, ito yung nagdoble ng color. We have 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or simply, ilan ba to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hanggang dito sa 7. Simply 5 times 7. Ang nagdoble ng kulay ay ilan lahat? 35 parts. So, magiging numerator natin sa sagot is 35. Ilan lahat itong maliliit na regions na to? That is 9 times 8 or simply 72. The answer is 35 over 72 using visualization. So, bibilangin mo isa-isa. So, that is 7 nines times 5 eighths. The answer is 35 over 72 using visualization. Now, let's have another example para hindi nakakalito. Example natin yung number 2. Number 2 is 4 eighths times 7 eighths. Dahil 8 ang denominator, dapat may 8 ka na portion. Diba? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dahil 4 ang numerator, apat yung may shade. Alright? There are 4 shaded region. That is 4 eighths. Imumultiply mo siya sa 7 eighths. Ang denominator natin, 8. So, kailangan makabuo tayo ng 8 na rows. Gagamit, gagawa tayo ng 8 na rows dito sa ating drawing. So now, let's have the 8 rows. Ah, okay. These are the 8 rows. Tinan nga natin kung 8 nga siya. So we have here 8 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So dahil multiply natin siya sa 7 eighths. 7 eighths. So, we need to shade the 7th row. The 7 rows. Alin yung 7 rows na yun hanggang dito? Dapat, mashaden mo. Ayan. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ngayon, may nagpatong na kulay. May nagdoble kulay. Ito yung mga yun. Nagdoble. So, bibilangin mo ngayon yung nagdoble na kulay. Para sa numerator, kung bibilangin natin, lahat yan ay 28. So, 28 doubled na kulay. At ilan lahat yung naging maliliit na portion ng ating uh, diagram. That is, 8 times 8 is 64. Or in lowest term, we have... 7 and 16 or 7, 16. So that is the lowest term of our answer.
So, this is activity number 3. So, now, let's have the next learning task. So, here, in learning task number 4, you just ask to multiply the fraction. Napakadali. Ibo multiply mo lang naman siya here. So, yung number 1, magiging ano lang siya, 6 sevenths times 1 sevenths times 5 over 1. So, we have 6 times 1 is 6 times 5 is 30. 7 times 7 is 49 times 1 is still 49. So, the answer is 30 over 49. So, lahat ng whole number, lalagyan nyo lang siya ng denominator na 1. So, that, I'm sorry, that's it for Math 5, Week 6. Thank you and goodbye!